Well, hi, and welcome to Glitch 2600. Who am I? Why am I here? Well, I'm Brian, aka Glitch, your friendly host and companion to teach you all things geekery, whether it's questions on computers, photography, videography, general science, whatever you want to know. If it has electronics or if it deals with electricity, if it has something in there, there's probably a good chance that I can figure it out for you. So what are we doing right now and what are what is this all about? Well, right now you're here for a glitch bite and that's part of our Vlogmas 2020. What's Vlogmas 2020? Well, since this is day seven, if you go back a few episodes, you'll see day one where we explain it's just a good way for us content creators to you know, work on our craft, get out there more, create a little bit more content, work every day in December to try to make a little piece for you guys. I've been trying to go live every single day as opposed to pre-record just as a way to push my live streaming capabilities. It's something I kind of did a while back with something called Lita, which is live every day in August, and now I'm just kind of doing a live every day in December because I've been trying to get these bites out there for a while. Now, if you go back, you'll notice that we used to call them glitch bits. We decided to just do away with that and realize that these tips are bite size or that they're tips that don't bite. So if we want a bigger one, we're just gonna call them a megabyte or a terabyte or a gigabyte. Heck, if it's really, really long, it'll be a pentabyte. And that's just me being really, really geeky. So now that you're here, I've probably already scared you away with my tech talk, but if not, if you're on YouTube, just remember you can come over here and subscribe to us on Facebook. Otherwise, uh, if you're on Facebook, you can come over to YouTube and we'd love to have you over there to subscribe to us and, you know, check out our stuff there. If you hit like and ring the bell, then it'll notify you when we come online. Otherwise, uh, we do have some other in-depth ones, Q&As that we do called Geek Outs, and we try to do those once a week. So you can go out there and see when we have the next one scheduled. I plan on scheduling one in the next couple days. And then we'll also be having one or two of our Geek Happy Hours where we talk about all things. Well, in this case, I'm wearing Iowa wine, but uh, normally I'd be wearing Iowa beer and talking about craft beer, wine, and spirits. So that's our other happy hour fun time. But let's talk about our glitch bite today. I want to tell you guys about a little trick to speed up your typing on your mobile device. iPhone, Android, they're all able to do the same way. And if you need to know on an Android, we can track that down for you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have one with me, uh, but it's in the same general area. Almost everything iPhone or Android steals <laughs> both from each other. So you're gonna find it in the same general area. Um, if you have trouble finding it, just message me and I will send you instructions for the Android. I just didn't have time to look it up right before this to try to catch the deadline for the uh, Vlogmas. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my iDevice and go into my settings. Once you go into settings, you've got some options here. If I go down to general, there's a section for keyboard. Now, on a Android, you'll see it in the same general area. If you go into your settings, there's a general or a straight keyboard right there, depending on your model and type. But once you go in there, there's a section that says text replacement. And like I said, you'll see that same type of thing on an Android. And I have multiple keyboards. I can load up Bitmoji, Emoji ones. You can add your own keyboards. There is even a, a Swift type kind of way, which is kind of fast. <clears throat> but this can even make your Swift typing or your, your swipe typing, not Swift, um, faster. So if you use the, the swipe version, you can still do that, or what they call slide to type down here, where you can slide across. You can still speed that up with text replacement. Text replacement allows me to replace text. It's pretty simple. You see that one that says C exclamation point? It means anytime I type C exclamation point, type this out. If I type OMW, then type out on my way. <clears throat> For people who might not know that shorthand speak. S exclamation point means secure. I use that for sending secure messages that uh, a lot of times, you know, big computers, you know, your, your Outlooks have plugins, but the iPhone didn't until recently that you couldn't add little add-ins like that. Well, because of that, I wrote code for my company 
where if you looked in the subject line for bracket secure or bracket confidential, then it would know, hey, send this as a secure message. And so it was a quick way for me to get around that. But I can do this for any number of things. Like I can go as a phrase, how are you? If I can stripe, right? And you can make this proper, you know, doing. Well, thing if you press and hold, you can use it like a keyboard. If you press and hold down on your keyboard, you can see where you can slide across and move where your cursor is. But as a shortcut, I can say H U D or H Y D. How you doing? I can do any number of things. I can actually make it one exclamation point. But I can fill in these little things like that. And then I can say, I'm doing great. And let's say F exclamation, or in this case, we'll just do F1. So now that we've done that and saved that in there, Let's go over just to show you how it works in pages. So if I were to say, how you doing? You'll notice across the bottom, it already filled it in, but it kind of highlighted in blue. If I hit return or the space bar, it does not matter. And now I can sit return and go F1. And then hit exclamation point. I'm doing great. And then it'll put that in there and you'll see how it can text expand that out. And that's just what we call the text replacement. And so if you know there's a lot of phrases or if there's an exclamation or, or explanation, not explanation, explanation you do a lot, you can write a whole paragraph basically here. So you can say F1 and have it explain the theory of relativity if you generally want it to. I think there's a, eventually a character limit, but you get the general idea. So if there's something that maybe autocorrect always makes you angry, you can override it. If it's always correcting your name, you can put that in there you can do the same type of stuff. So that's just a quick tip. You can do the same thing on Android to get faster typing, faster everything on your, uh, on your mobile device. This works on iPhone, iPad, you know, pretty much any type of mobile device. Like I said, if you go Android, you have the same type of tools. If you have trouble finding that, just let me know. But that is our quick glitch bite. Hopefully you guys like the name better as a glitch bite, being a megabyte, gigabyte, all that. But that's my main one for Vlogmas. And next we're gonna open up one of our, our beers and I'll, I'll tell you about it. But first I wanna say and give a shout out to my friend Rob, who's stopping on. So, hey Rob, hope everything's going great in your neck of the woods. I'm just doing my quick little you know spiel for uh, Vlogmas 2020 for day seven with the uh, Let's Get Live people. But uh, Rob joined me and it was, uh, a lot of fun watching his stuff during uh, our Lita challenge. We did those with uh, live streaming pros. So, But I wanna talk about uh, my beer advent because it's day seven. And since we talk about our happy hour too, we're gonna open up our Iowa craft beer, day seven of our advent calendar. So let's see how that is. I should have reminded you that our glitch bites, we tend to try to keep under 10 minutes, a little bit more bite size. See, it was really hard to say bit size before, so we're gonna go with bite size. But let's see what today's one is. They make the holes so small, and I don't have very big hands. I know the trick where they smack it, but uh, I still have a hard time reaching down in there because you, you don't wanna open up the other days. It's much easier at the end. I did one of these last year, but let's see. Oh, and this is a good one. I've had this one before. This is the Tropical Burn double IPA from Fire Trucker. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Lately, I need to change my light. Fire Trucker Brewery in Ankeny, Iowa. 8.5 ABV. Now where it says 90 IBU, we talk about this on the beer show. International beer, you know, bitterness units, I don't subscribe to them. It's good to measure, but hazies and different IPAs don't always measure at the same bitterness as you would think. In fact, a lot of hazies are so fruit forward, they're higher in IBUs, but taste less bitter, which just means normally how piney they are. But this is a really great, this is one of the first beers that got me into hazies, um, which is funny because I'm not a big hazy guy anymore. But it's got hoppy mango and citrus flavors, which you would expect being a tropical. The burn isn't because it burns or has any cinnamon or anything like that. It's because of the 
8.5 ABV. So it burns you on the back end. If you have too many of these, you're not driving. That's the burn. But we'll be covering this in our happy hour. I'm deciding whether I'm going to do two happy hours this week or just one and cover seven beers. It's really how uh, ambitious and how busy my week gets. But you can watch for that on our channel and our shows and follow along for that. Otherwise, we'll be doing a geek out. Like I said, that's our live Q&A. You can come on, ask your questions. We'll answer them live on the air. They could be about photography. We just covered a whole one on the exposure triangle at the last geek out. So talking about your aperture, shutter speed, and ISO and how they relate to each other and how to manipulate those if you want to get off those uh, automatic modes or to manipulate those automatic modes to your benefit on your camera. But uh, that's some of the things that we cover in those geek outs. We are adding a new feature here very soon. I'm still testing it to where we can add a phone number and you can live call in for those of you who maybe don't want to have to type out your whole question and want a little bit more back and forth. You can still back and forth on the chat. We can see you and we'll talk. And as you saw, we can pop up your comments. But if you're a little bit easier on the phone, if you want to be interviewed, there is the capability where we can bring you on live with your video too, um, using a piece of software we have called Ecamm. But regardless, we've got this new soundboard that we're messing around with something called Mix Minus, which we'll maybe cover in a later tip. But just showing you cool things are in the works. If you guys would like that, tell us that you like it. Say hi in there and, and, and say, yeah, we want to be able to call in. And then if you have little thoughts on what you might want on the next glitch, you know, bite, let us know. We've got a few topics. I reached out to my friends today, and uh, Rob was actually one of them that told me, so I'm working on uh, pulling one of his in there, and then another friend, uh, Matt, he uh, came up with some good stuff, and I've got a few more in the works to get through these 31 days of rapid-fire tips. So I'm really happy all you guys stopped out. I had a good time coming up with a, a tip for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed them also. Otherwise, I'm going to pack up maybe uh, enjoy a little bit more of my wine tonight and then get ready for my vlogmas day eight which i'll try to launch a little earlier tomorrow so i'll talk to you guys soon thanks for stopping out